In this segment, we'll discuss the cerebellar peduncles. The cerebellar peduncles are large fiber tracts that carry information to and information away from the cerebellum. In this particular section, we can see the entire brainstem, beginning with the medulla and the pons and the midbrain. We can sort of see where our peduncles are. Here is the area of the superior, the middle, which is the largest, and the inferior. In the next slide, in this section, or on this slide, you can see these a little, the peduncles a little more clearly in that this is a rubber brainstem. And so it's kind of a super large image of the whole brainstem. And here we can see, again, the medulla, the pons, and the midbrain, about in here and here. And we can see our superior peduncle, our large middle peduncle, and our smaller inferior peduncle. In the next slide, I'll talk more about what they actually do. The superior cerebellar peduncle is the main outflow of the cerebellum. So a lot of information comes into the cerebellum, but its main outflow or efferent exiting information is going to be found in the fibers of the superior cerebellar peduncle. The middle cerebellar peduncle is bringing afferent or arriving information into the cerebellum, and most of those fibers arrives in the pons. The inferior cerebellar peduncle is bringing in afferent information um, from the medulla and the spinal cord. These are going to be important, um, each of these peduncles and the information it's carrying is going to be important in the next uh, couple of sections when we talk about the actual functioning of the cerebellum. So in the next section, we'll talk a little bit about the cerebellar cortex. And for now, what I want you to know is that there are three different peduncles, and each one of them is bringing in or taking away information from a different source.